Sure. Uh, well, it's how are you all doing? Excellent. Good. I got one question. I want to ask Mr. Baldwin regarding Slattery and his uh, your the scowl that you admit when you're pissed off about something becomes because yeah because you have an edge but how long did it take you to develop that because I was watching that and I thought did he just practice that in the mirror I'm just curious because every episode it's like like when you're gonna go after the um, uh, not the, Niger the Nigerian, but the uh, Russian. In, no, in the jungle. And you said, "I have, a, I have, a, I have El Toro. daughter." El Toro. El Toro. I have daughters. Yeah. You have a daughter, mm -hmm. and you, you had that scowl. And I thought, "Wait a minute, that comes up every single time." He's pissed off. You're, you're and you're right like, "Yeah." Serenity, right? yeah. <laughs> Scowling since I was a you young man. <laughs> As, as the my director, grade, my, my director, I piss my, him off. Yeah, my inner monologue is don't, don't, <laughs> don't fuck with him. Uh, when I, the late great James Gandolfini, yes, sir. may he rest in peace, said to me the first time, the first day I was directing the Sopranos, he said, if you want to tell me anything, tell me whatever you want. He said, don't be scared. I just look like this. <laughs> I just look pissed off. I'm really not. So, so that's like Adam. I'm a lovable, huggable teddy bear, yeah. really. So in Star Trek problems, if you're number one, does that make you sort of the hybrid Mr. Spock on the crew? Because you're always cool under pressure. I'm not number two. He's not number one. I'm not number one. Okay. I'm number, <laughs> I'm number two. Well, I'm number two, but really number three, so. Yeah, so. well, Star Trek is like, you know, commander, then number one, oh, then, right. Yeah, That's okay. what I was getting at, so yeah. Was, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so playing with metaphors there, but, I, you know. I think maybe Captain Tom might not be in the right mind to be captain this season because he's gone through a terrible tragedy and he's reeling from that I think it might be time for one of you guys to step up and take the captain ship he's on there's, <laughs> yeah, a like reason, that. there's a reason he's not here That's right. <laughs> everyone is at risk we don't want you to feel too comfortable assuming you'll see anyone at any time so. well if you go back to the if you go back to the beginning the beginning of the series um, slattery was next in line to get his own command and he, he wants that but we need to find another ship for that we need we need to save no the world order. first will we find out what happened to your family this yeah, that's, what, yeah, that's my question questions are answered about many different characters and their their home stories uh, and and some of those questions lead to other questions so the finality for slattery is is not is not quite there but some questions are answered. Now, will you become more of a badass as opposed to calling the captain a badass? Um, I, I think I will have some badass moments if I survive the end of the season that we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting for my life right now. I mean, we, we, we do our characters bringing the cure to the world, which is a lot of the focus of this season will confront a lot of personal and and uh, professional challenges uh, both in terms of the emotion of what they discover on the personal level and also the uh, what happens to them professionally with people who may be challenging their objective which is to get the cure out there but what if the virus mutates well everybody's asked that and that's really interesting because that gives us another 10 seasons <laughs> <laughs> but but what's the challenge this year is okay we've got the cure which was last year now we come back to the world what's that world like who stands in the way of getting the cure out there and if there are people who let's say who are naturally immune they may not want everybody cured, which would become the great equalizer. Immunity is power in this season, and uh, we have to confront that aspect head on. As was proved by the value of Niels. <laughs> there be more people like him. Thanks guys, we're going to rotate you. Oh, that was, okay, thank, hey, thank you. you. Hey, hey, great work. Hey.